Hi guys, I'm Chormi, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll show you how to make the beat for Sirens by Travis Scott. This beat was made by Travis Scott, Buddy Rose, Evax, John Mayer, No Gold, Stain Wundagul, and Benny X. So let's begin with the breakdown. First thing, we got this sample from the New England. <laughs> They chop the intro of this song without stretching or pitching it. And then the whole beat is built around this sample in Sun Kalawendo, I think. They chop the intro for the melody and this drum break for the bridges. This sample was pitched up by a semitone and then they stretched it to 128 BPMs. This is the sample without any effects. For the effects, I think they used a lot of saturation and compression, so I used this DBX compressor from Waves. Then I have Sketch Cassette, Fab Filter, Black Box Saturator, Low Air, and then a lot of EQing. So this is the final result with the effects. <music> then for the drums, I chopped the main loop from the original track using AI. They're using triplets and percussive metallic sounds. The melody is in triplets too. Then we have the Halo 8 playing the root note A. The pattern is really simple, they're just playing on the 1 and the 4, and then they're spicing it up using triplets on the higher octave, and then using this different pattern. And they're playing on the 1, the 3, the 4, the 2, and then they're using the triplet at the end. The kick is also playing on the triplets at the end of every 4 bars. I think they're using some open hats on the triplets too. I chopped them from the sample. So this is the final result for the first part. Then we have the switch, I think they're using the mellotron with some pianos or organs. I'm using this preset, the short piano voice, and then the organ always from the mellotron. They're playing the same melody as the sample and they're spicing it up using the harmonic minor on the last bar. So as you can see they're using the A minor chord, then the A suspended 2 chord, and on the last bar we have the 5th chord of the scale with a major 3rd. I'm also playing the D that is a dominant 7. Then we have some vocals, I chopped them from the original track. They are chopping them using the envelope function. We also have this other sample, and this other one. With these vocals they're mainly playing on the 3 and the 4. For the outro they are playing the sample melody with a guitar. I'm using the electric mint from Contact. Then we have the vocal, they are playing with the arpeggiator to create this stuttering effect. What I've done is just using the arpeggiator from the FL sampler and I made two automation clips for the time and the gate. So yeah, I'm closing the gate and boosting the arpeggiator time. Then we have a saw synth, I made this really simple patch in Serum using saw waves. Two saw waves played on different octaves, a little bit of detune and unison, no effects as you can see, so it's really really simple. And they're playing a 1, 3, 4, 6 progression in the minor scale.
We are playing the A minor chord, the C major 7 chord, the D minor chord with an inversion of the 5th and the 3rd, and then the F major 7 chord. And the last sound is this lap steel guitar playing these lighting harmonies in the background. So this is the final result. That's all for this video, smash a like and subscribe if you liked it, I will leave all my links in the description if you want to support me, I have a Patreon page where I upload all the FLPs from my remakes, Instagram if you want to follow me, and BeatStars if you want to check out my beats or drum kits. Bye and see you in the next video.